Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will explain the if statement of the PHP programming language. Basically, this is used to test certain condition or conditions. So, it's more of a conditional statement. And so, before I continue discussing, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so like I said a while ago, the if statement is used to test for something. And this is condition usually. So because the computer cannot decide on something, but if we will provide the if statement, then it can decide based on a certain condition. This condition is answerable by true or false. So this condition here. So it is true or false. So when it is true, you have to execute this statement or this statement. And if it is false, you can execute this statement or this statement. So basically, we're telling the computer using the PHP language, something like that. Okay, now basically, you will have three syntax to use. So any programming language, I think it will be something like this. So the first one here is if you have only one condition, it could be true or it could be false. So you have to make sure that your condition is correct. So you have to place your condition here. And so when placing a condition here, basically you will use relational operators and logical operators. But I will not discuss here logical operators. I will simply discuss relational operators here. Like for example, the greater than equal, less than equal, equal equal, not equal. So these are relational operators. So logical operators, I will discuss this in another video so that this video will be much shorter and so that you will understand much better and so like i said so you will use relational operator in your condition here so your condition here should be answerable by true or false when this is true when this condition here is met then it will execute all the statements here after that it will go here here all right now when this condition is false, so it will go here immediately. It will not execute all the statements here. All right. These statements here are enclosed with open and close curly bracket. Okay. Usually in programming, you don't need this curly bracket here, this open and close here, if you have only one statement here. But most programmers, they prefer to put open and close curly bracket here even if they only have one statement here to execute. Okay, so one or more statements here inside, you need open and close curly bracket. Now, if you have two conditions to test, so here it is. So this is the syntax that you will use. So if this condition is true, it will execute all the statements here. However, if it is false, then it will execute all the statements in the else part. Because else part means false or no. When the condition here is false, all the statements here will be executed. When the condition here is true, again, it will execute all the statements here inside the open and close curly bracket. And immediately, it will go to here. It will get out of the if statement. So if you have more statements here, then those statements will be executed. Once again, when this condition is false, it will go to the else. It will jump immediately to the else and then it will execute all the statements here. And after executing all the statements here, it will go outside the curly bracket or the block. So it will go here, something like that. However, if you have more than two conditions, to test, then you can use the if else if condition. If else if else condition, so something like that. 
So as you can see here, you have if here, you have else if here. Meaning to say, when this condition is false, it will go to the else if to test again. When this condition is again false, it will go to the next else if. And when this condition again is false, then because we don't have else if here, we only have else, then it will execute all the statements here and after which it will go here. So if you have more statements here, it will execute those statements. So something like that. So every time it is false, it goes down. It goes to the else if. However, if it is true, what will happen if it is true? For instance, if the condition here is true, then it will execute all the statements here. Just like, just like what I have discussed here in the previous one. Okay. After that, after executing all the statements here, where it will go? It will go down here. It will exit the if statements or the if uh, block. So it will go here. Now, if the condition here is false, then it will go to the else if to test again this condition. So once again, when this is true, it will execute all the statements here. After that, it will jump out of the if block or the if statements that you have because it will only execute one true part. So after that, it will execute or it will exit the statements right after all your if statements. So something like this here. Okay, so that's how it works. To put this into action, let's have an example of something like this one here. I have only one condition. So let's make it simple. So it's all PHP coding, so nothing else. So I have here my body here. I have my slash body and my slash HTML here. So within it, I have my beginning and ending PHP tag. So all statements inside will be PHP statements. The first one here will be hi there. I will print it. And then we have here a certain condition. So we have here a variable dollar grade. I have a video about how to create a variable. And if you will visit our channel, I think I have here this one here, the first one. It's all about PHP variables and data types and how you will place your PHP script or your program how and where and I have discussed also here what are the data types I have also a video wherein how to create and save a PHP program and how to use the WAMP server okay so I think you have to watch these two videos first before going to this if statement if you don't have a background of the PHP programming language so that you will have a better understanding of the if statement here. Let's go back to our topic. So I have a variable here grade it is 75 and I'm going to test it. So for instance you want to test it. If, if it is more than or equal to 75 the value of grade then I will just print this if it is not then it will not do anything so basically if this is true then it will execute this statement when this is false it will not execute 17 line 17 it will go immediately to 19 and then 20 okay so let's try to test this one I'm going to save this one first Okay, you know how to save this if you don't know again once you don't know how to save this program again you can visit our channel here and we have a video about how to save your PHP program using the default folder for PHP using WAMP server okay so go to save this in C WAMP64 WW I have a folder PHP examples. It is here where you have to save it, but I'm going to use a folder PHP examples and I'm going to save it here and I'm going to call it as if example1.php and all files I'm going to save it there. And then let's try to test it. So I have to run my 
WAMP server it is already running so this time I'm going to click my WAMP server and select localhost so you have here localhost I have here my PHP folder PHP examples so you can just copy this one if you don't like to type and then right after localhost you just have to type your PHP examples folder or the folder name itself PHP examples and then the name which is if example onephp so I'm going to press enter and there you go and so as you can see in our program here and so there you go your grade is 75 passed so it it was printed so the grade here dollar grade is printed as variable or was executed as a variable and so the value which is 75 is printed so your grade is 75 passed if for instance I'm going to change this to let's say 65 so let's see what will happen 65 greater equal 75 it should be false so since it is false it should go to 19 and then echo br so it will just go to the next line so meaning to say it will not execute or it will not print your grade is 75 so let us see I'm going to refresh this one now you have to save this one first I already save it control s and so to refresh this there you go so nothing was there why simply because grade dollar grade the value is 65 so 65 greater equal 75 that is false and so it will go to 19 and 20 so I think by this time you already know what I am discussing or I discussed a while ago so it's like that so when it is true again when it's true this condition is true it will execute the statements right after your condition as you can see here I only have one statement so if you have more than one statement you can place those statements here I can place those statements okay so in this example I will just place one statement so that it's easy for us our program is short but you can place more statements inside these curly brackets here this block okay so that's one example let's have another example using this syntax here so again using this syntax here you have two conditions okay so here you have condition here if this is true it will execute this if this is false it will execute else always remember in programming else is always no or false so for instance I will say here else so if it is not so if it is not greater than 75 then it is failed so I'm just going to say like this here your grade is and it is failed so it's like that. so let's let us test this grade if this grade is greater than 75 so it should execute this if this condition here is false then it will execute this so it should be like that and so I'm going to save and I'm going to uh, refresh okay we have our program no need to run again from here copy uh, type the name or file name all you need to do is to just refresh it there you go so as you can see because this condition here in 16 is false so it went to 19 and then execute line 20 and no more statements here so it went to 21 and then that's it that's how it is so the last statement here 23 echo br so it went it just went here the cursor just went to the next line and so your grade is 65 this is correct let us see if it is 75 I'm going to save Okay, let us refresh so as you can see it is now passed so because this condition is here is true this condition here is true so it went here your grade is passed after that where it will go it will go to line 22 right after executing 17 and then 18 it will go to 22 and then 22 so that's how it works so 
you can have one condition or two conditions so depending on the problem that you are solving so this is how you use the if statement of the PHP programming language now for instance another one will be this one here wherein you have more than two conditions to test so that means you have three conditions four conditions two conditions three conditions four conditions like this so you have to use the if else if else statement so it's like that so more than two conditions you have to use the if else if else condition so for instance let's just make it simple like this so if the grade is 90 to 100 I'm just going to print A and if it is from 80 to 89 I'm just going to print B if it is 70 to 79 it is C and if it is below 70 that would be D okay so to make it more simple so grade is 90 and above so let's change it if it is it is A so something like that because if we will say 90 to 100 then I'm, I might need or I will need logical operators but like I said I will not discuss logical operators I will discuss it on the next video and so let's make it something like that and so therefore if the grade so for example let us set the grade it is it is equal to 75 so 75 should fall in C right so so how do we do the programming for this so I'm just going to say if grade is greater than or equal to 90 then the grade your grade is grade dollar grade and it should be a something like that the next one will be I'm going to test now the 80 so if it is 80 greater than equal 80 then your grade should be B and if it is not 80 if it is not greater than 90 not also greater than 80 maybe it is greater than 70 and so if it is greater than 70 your grade should be C if it is not A if it is not B if it is not C then therefore it should be there you go D. so as you can see the last one you don't need to test but if you want to test it it is also possible some programmers may may use something like this So grade below 70 so it is something like that so you can also use something like this so let us try to uh, see if it is correct so I'm going to uh, run it using our browser so I'm just going to place our browser here so that we can see everything there you go so I'm just going to refresh now I should see because it is 75 the grade is 75 then it should be here C so let us see there you go your grade is 75 so I'm going to change this let us see if our program is correct actually so let's put 95 here I'm going to save and let us refresh it should be A and for instance it is 65 let us see it should be D refresh there you go so it's slam something like that so like I said a while ago typically in programming it, it's up to you it depends on your requirement uh, usually the last one you don't need to test because if it is not greater than 90 or it is not greater than 80 or it is not greater than 70 then what else the last condition will be D okay the last condition will be below 70 so it's like that so let us see again it should print D there you go I just refresh it so it is D. I'm just pressing the refresh to open again, to execute again our program. So I'm just pressing the refresh. So as you can see there. So again, it depends on your requirements. So the last condition, you may test it or you may use else. So there's no need to test it because that's the automatic value. So something like that. So once again, I'm going to test it if it is, let's say, um, 85. So if this 85 
or exactly 80, let us see. Exactly 80. So if it is exactly 80, that should fall with B. So let us refresh. I'm going to click this refresh here. There we go. This B. Now, also as you can see, we are using the condition we're in we are testing numerical value what about character values will that be possible yes it will be possible if uh, you will use those okay so meaning to say let's have an example of that let's say dollar country okay is equal to us for instance so i'm going to test the country so dollar country so if this equal equal to us then echo it will say united states something like this so let's try to run it i'm going to press refresh it should print united states there you go because country is equal to us so dollar country equal equal us so if it is true echo united states so therefore it will print united states if it is not let's say ua so let us see it should not print any country by this time i'm going to click refresh there you go it did not print anything so i'm just going to return it to us so i'm going to refresh there you go and you can place condition using numerical value you want to test numerical values or string values or character values i hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one